Okay, going to the um, browser, you can see here the, uh, the overview of the case library. And we have now uh, implemented um, two access modes for the cases. We have the, the learning mode, where you get educational content like multiple choice questions and explanations. And you have the browse mode where you can go quickly through the cases just to, to, to remember of, of one certain finding that you were aware of. So I will um, uh, start with this example case in the learning mode. And um, as you are aware of, the case is, um, is really, um, you can, you can um, include very complex cases because you also have several pages of clinical information or clinical information. So here have the medical history, uh, of a case, um, then you see the clinical examination. Uh, you can even uh, show clinical pictures uh, of, of skin lesions, or of eye lesions, or uh, whatsoever. And uh, we also have a certain section for laboratory findings. And then in learning mode, you are exposed with these multiple choice questions. So, which imaging method would you apply first for diagnostic purpose? I may, may have been very quick. So, this is a, a back pain since three years, uh, no, no diagnostics whatsoever. So I would say uh, X-ray of the sacroiliac joints uh, would be the correct uh, method here. And um, then you can see the X-ray. So um, this is a Ferguson view of an X-ray and you might think what's going on and you, you might want to take a closer look. And this is when the new version comes in because now you can uh, adjust this uh, image in, in brightness and contrast, like, like a radiologist would do it. And you can also enlarge these images and, um, and, and take a closer look. So I think that is uh, a function that many of, of you did expect for the next version. So uh, going further in, in, the, in the learning here, so does this patient have a definite radiographic sacroiditis? I didn't see so much, so I think no. And uh, I think there's another question which diagnostic procedure should now be done? Is it be CT, is it MRI, is it even scintigraphy? So I think uh, it's I think it's MRI, I'm not sure. And then uh, you can see um, the MRI and um, on MRI you are able to again en enlarge the images or you can look it in the normal um, viewing uh, mode and you can now also see the uh, overlays that we place so you can uh, get explanations on the lesions that are there. Okay, so final questions. Um, is this bone marrow edema? I think yes. And um, how sure are we about the diagnosis of XLSPA? I think it's a very good example. So it's a very definite diagnosis. And at the end, you get a solution for all the questions. You get even uh, explanations for each um, question. So you can read texts on how did we think the, the correct answer is. And uh, you can read more about it. You can even uh, show additional slides from the slide library. And um, uh, you get a final description of the case. Okay, so um, if you don't have the time to go through all these questions, and these questions are now in our example case, so we did not yet uh, establish questions in all the 20 cases. We have also um, have collaborators who will bring in new cases. So it will be a tremendous work over the year to expand this, um, this, this collection. We have the browse mode. So you just click on browse and go to the same case. And then magically, no questions are here at all. So you just can quickly go to the MRI images and have a look again. You can even have the cheat mode where you see the diagnosis up front and uh, use it as a, as a reference uh, database. Okay, so uh, that's one part of the new uh, functions, but have a look at the, the next case.